everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to another unboxing video. And for today's unboxing, we'll be looking at the full freight car collection with Kevin for Playrail. And as you can see, it includes eight pieces. And here's the front of the box. Let's look at the side. And here's the back. Okay. Now that I've got everything out of the box, let's talk about one of each of these different items. The first one we'll be talking about is Kevin. Now, what I like about this Kevin is that it's a lot more accurate to the TV series than the Hit Toys version, which was motorized. And it's also a lot better than the Trackmaster 2 version, which is pretty crappy, if you ask me. Anyway, I love the face here. And I love the added details, including the sticker. I think that's a sticker, I'm not sure. You know, the Steamworks logo? Yeah. And I also like that this arm goes up and down like this. But I don't think it carries cargo like that. Not with this hook right here, but that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. And the best part is it freewheels. And not to mention, it also comes with this green flatbed. Now, I have three of these, and this is my fourth one. And I'm glad I got a fourth one because I need this for Kevin. You can put Kevin right here. Yep, that's how I set it up. And it looks really neat. And this also reminds me of this climactic scene in Day of the Diesels where Percy tows uh, Kevin on a flatbed. Yeah. Let's look at the next one. Now this one here is the treasure chest freight car. And what this does is that this shakes and, and it also shakes as you move it along like this. And when I first saw this, I thought it does spin or supposed to spin like this, but I guess it doesn't, doesn't spin well. But I like that this wobbles. I think it looks really cool. And the way and the way that the wheels are function it makes me think of Beppe for play rail. So this is a really nice model as well. Coming up next is the balloons mixer freight car. And what this does is that it spins the balls around like this, and the balls are actually supposed to be balloons. As gimmicky as this is, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. I'll give it that. And what I didn't notice at first is that it has these little special treads, which I think is supposed to go like this. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. Okay. Makes sense. So, all in all, this is a really nice model. And now let's look at this. Now, the first one I have from one of these is from this one set with Thomas and Scruffy. It's called the Thomas and the Full Freight Car set, and it's the more recent version. Not the original from the 1990s, because that one's really hard to find. But, you know, I, I made a video on that once, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So anyway, this is a yellow truck with shaking milk turns, and you shake it like this. It can even shake if you go on wobbly track, like that wobbly suspension bridge set, which I don't have yet, but I'll try to get sometime in the future, but I'm not going to promise that ever. And also, these first appeared in Thomas's Milkshake Muddle, which I think is a pretty decent episode, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I like classic Nas to the hit era, sometimes. So all in all, this is one of the best items in the pack, for sure, next to Kevin. The next one I want to talk about is this troublesome truck with the exhausted CGI face. And as you can see, it comes with two fish crates. And they're also removable, like this. And this is another reason why I bought this pack, you know, besides Kevin, of course. 
it's because of this Trollsome truck. And I'm a sucker when it comes to Trollsome trucks with different faces and colors. Because, you know, I like to have a lot of these in my collection. And I love the detail on this CGI face. You know, he looks exhausted. He's getting tired of working hard. But one thing that could have made this a little bit better was the, the lining that, that should be colored silver or something. Just like Rosie's trucks. But other than that, this is a really great model. Now this is the Sodor Railway Container Car. And as you can see, the crates are removable. And you have a flatbed right here, which I never had in my collection ever. And not only that you can remove the crates, but can you also put them back together like this. And here's another thing I like about this toy. Is that it has Sodor on the sides and Thomas's silhouette, which is why it's called the Sodor Railway Container Car. And overall, I'm very happy that I have this in my collection because I always wanted one of these container flatbeds or something like that because they look really cool. But unfortunately, they're Japanese exclusive, but good thing there's eBay for that. So, all in all, a really good model. And last but not least, Another Green Express coach. Now, this is my fourth model to date. I have the other three in my boxes somewhere, but I can't get it out right now because I'm 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 busy rearranging some stuff. So anyway, I'm very happy that I got my fourth Green Express coach just to make Gordon's Express longer. And overall, I think this is a really cool model as usual. And I also didn't mind the fact that this stripe right here is a little darker than the than the usual ones I have because it what it makes it unique in my opinion. So overall, this is really good. As for my rating for this pack, I'll give it like say hmm a 9.5 out of 10 stars which is a really good score. And I highly recommend picking up this item if you haven't yet, if you want to get this version of Kevin for Play Rail, which I think is still better than the Hit Toys and Trimester 2 versions, because, you know, those are chunky. And if you want another Green Express coach or more of these Trollsome trucks, then I say buy this pack. It's really good. It's really worth your money. This is Trevor Davis signing off.